Hello and welcome, my name is Parkins, Dan playing some more Fable 2. Now today I was actually going to do something slightly, well, I wouldn't call it special, but I'm going to do an extra long episode because unfortunately, as you know, like there are quite a few games coming out that I want to do and unfortunately it does seem that this Fable 2 series is one of my least popular, let's put it that way. I don't know, I don't know least popular, just not as many people seem to watch it. I, I don't know. Anyway, um, so we're going to try and not get it out of the way, but I kind of want to, I don't want to drag it out too much. So I'm just going to do probably like a 40 minute episode or 45 minutes. Not sure yet. It depends how tired I get. Okay, so we're off to speak to, <laughs> we're off to see the wizard. No, we're off to see some priest person in Oakfield. Uh, now, luckily, this Father, glowing trail. The sacred texts now clearly works. say that only two monks may enter the cave. No one else. <clears throat> hello. Ah, hello there, my child. I wonder, brothers, leave us. It's okay. They can listen if they want to. Let me take a look at you for a moment. Hmm? Heathen. Arm. Um, Quite imposing, but I can't send just anyone in there. <laughs> ah, quite impressive, but uh, no, I think not. You look imposing, all right, but I can't entrust our community's survival to a complete stranger. Why not? Perhaps if you built up a reputation, I'd be more inclined to trust you. Um. Yes. Rookridge has been having a horrible time with bandits lately. Why don't you go to the tavern and see if you can do anything about them? That would be a good start. Right, okay. Uh, the blessing must go forward if you're to find the pilgrim. You must gain the abbot's favour. Brilliant. Perhaps you can find a way to impress him in the town. Right. Use your map to see where quests and jobs are. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good, isn't it? So let's have a look. Press talk to the abbot in Oakfield. Press the abbot by... Okay. Right. Jobs. Assassinate the scientist's chosen target. Tar <coughs> Jesus. Okay, chop wood at the windmill. <sighs> can I can I not do I have to stand in here to accept it or I I still need to find Right, okay. Well, let's go and follow this glowing trail. We're gonna have to chop some wood, obviously. So might as well just get on with it. I don't. That's one thing in this game that I don't like that they did sort of fix in the last one. They tend to. Hang on, where does it want me to go? It's telling me to, this. Is what I'm saying. It's telling me to go one way, but then. Are we supposed to talk to you? Oh crap! Oh, sorry. <sighs> Okay, well it seemed to fix the trial. Lights out! <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt you, not. Yeah, lots of people were telling me actually that my dog uh what Leonard, that's it. Leonard uh will stop fighting for me or whatever, or finding treasure. It was one of those. I think it was finding treasure. If I keep hitting him. So I might stop hitting him. That's the thing. I I want to be evil, but then I suppose it's not necessary for me to be evil to my dog, is it? So, oh, what the hell is going on? Hang on. Use your map to see where qu quests. Your map can give you information about regions, points of interest, and much more. I suggest you look at your quests now. Right. That it doesn't help that I had the wrong quest selected. To be fair. But the glowing trail is still going this way, so we haven't wasted any time, really. Where to? Okay, in here. Perfect. Oh dear, oh dear. It's your problem. How could this happen? I mean, right Obviously, I'm going to have to help you in some way. Blam! Down it goes. Oh, that's weird. I was going to say, like, when you. Oh, whatever. So I don't you'll know. get rid of all the bandits in Rookridge. Yeah. 
wondrous. I knew I could count on you, old friend. I don't know who you are. Please so. be careful, though. These villains are a dangerous lot. Right. Well, I'm pretty dangerous myself. I think you'll find. So we're going to quickly run to this place and destroy these bandit folk. Just for no reason. They just... They're poor and they want... They want to live like these people in comfort and... I've now got to go and kill them all. Horrible. Oh, yep. Still this way. Ah... Oh. You know what, we're not going to bother with that dig spot. I'm sure it's nothing that valuable. Right. Let's take a drink in the interval. It's so hot here at the moment, I don't know what's going on. It's not even... It's August, I suppose it's still summer, but it's coming on to like winter time now. It's just absolutely boiling. Oh, God. Right. Let's go after these bandits. Now, I'm assuming, possibly, that these bandits were those ones that I saw... Oh. Better tell the boss. Oh, good. Okay, we're not going to use magic, because magic is rubbish. But I'm assuming these are the people at the top of that hill that I couldn't get to before and the ones that broke that bridge. If that's the case, then it's awesome that we're stabbing him in the neck. <laughs> God's sake. Hello? Get him. What did he say? Get him? Oh. Where are they? Oh, that's okay. He just run downstairs past me. Yes, and some people also annoyed that I didn't pick up all of the orbs off of one creature. I'm sorry. God, Jesus Christ, so demanding. I'm doing my best. Difficult to remember sometimes. See, so just walk up the stairs backwards, that makes sense. Oh, epic. Can we stab him? How do we stab people on the floor? Oh. Apparently you can unlock the roll ability, because I was saying in the last episode that you couldn't roll around, which is kind of annoying, so I might look into that. I'm assuming that might be in... well, we'll see when we have enough experience points and it lets us upgrade, but I'm definitely going to upgrade that, because I think it's a bit silly that you can't roll around. Why do you think they call me Dash? Stupid! Well, that's uncalled for. What's wrong with your voice? You sound like a cretin. I'm I'm not interested in I can shoot your smug mug all day long. Okay. I think you've been smoking too long, sir. Your voice is how do we say in England? Fucked. <laughs> so. Okay. I don't know where my dog is. Where are you, Leonard? Let's just kick these people into the the boxes. Okay, this won't take too long. God, this sword is pretty good. Like, I don't know why anyone would bother with the magic. I suppose like magic is possibly better at higher levels, but at the same time, like, oh, we can upgrade. Let's have a look at what we've got. Right, we're going to go with strength. Let's see what we've got. Brutal styles. So we can actually just get that. Flourishes. Right, physique. So we just, that just gives us more damage, which sounds good. And that one gives us more life. We're going to go with damage for now. You know, as as we've got the points, we might as well go for this one as well. We're gonna, so we've gone for more damage and more life for now. And in my opinion, that seems like a good choice. So it's not going to... I'm apparently 23 more strong. Oh, there's a chest. Can I open this? 15 silver... 15 silver rings. <laughs> of course. So hopefully this should mean that it takes less hits to kill people. Which, to be fair, it does look as if that is the case. 
because they did all just die quite quickly. So this, uh, I'm assuming we have to go down here. Still there? You're wasting your time, you drowsy slut. I'd be scared of me if I were you, you dirty-voiced uh, mongrel. <laughs> Oh god, Jesus Christ, we're owning! What's going on? It's like two hits and everyone dies. Apparently we can level up something else as well, but to be honest, like I just want to stick with the strength thing, so we've not got enough points with that so far. Considering this guy is showing off so much about being so tough, he isn't running away a lot, isn't he? Jesus. Oh, there's my dog. Go, Leonard! <laughs> up the hill randomly. Good Leonard. Okay, let's get all their life gubbins and carry on. So we're working our way up to the top. Get Lens flare. To that, dog. Go chase a train of sausages. Well done. Your actions continue to what? shape the world. The... Are you being serious? The leader of the bandits took one arrow. And that was it, and he was dead. But all of his minions took about five slashes of the sword. Completely made sense. Oh, a bandit bandana! Bandit shirt, bandit trousers. <gasps> okay, we're, we're gonna get into our new uniform. Let's have a look. Clothing. Because we need to look evil. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind people thinking I'm a bandit. So, right. Uh, upper body. Now it depends. Does this bandit shirt look better than this? Oh, okay, that is the bandit shirt. What am I talking about? Burr. Right, lower body. Bandit trousers. There we go. I don't know what these stars are. Aggressiveness plus five. Okay, pretty good. Lower. Oh, that is lower body. Let's see, what are feet? Pauper boots. Attractiveness minus two. Noptic headgear. Aggressiveness. Oh, this is all useful stuff. Aggressiveness plus five. So we're pretty aggressive now. Come on, Leonard, you dirty, dirty dog. Okay, so let's carry on down here. Oh, are we just going back to that place? Is that why that map's there? Uh, what is this? Return to Barnum. Go to and kill the bandit. Dash. Down to Barnum. Travel. Yes. Oh, cool. Okay, so now that we've been there, we can just fast travel back, which... Is actually very useful. Oh my god. <coughs> Please forgive me for drinking a lot. I've got a bit of a sore throat as well. Problem was, I'm currently back home in London. Uh, and basically because of the whole Olympics thing in London, it was bloody busy. And I didn't go to any of the Olympic events, but I went to one of the five games parks in London where they had big screens up and you could go in. Um, so yeah, I went to one of those one day and I was completely crushed onto one of the trains. So it was the last day of the Olympics and that was probably a bad idea because let's just say I had uh, many a, a sweaty fat man pressed up against my face oh, and now I'm ill because uh, probably some stranger guess. coughed on me. Okay. Of course, it turns out those deeds weren't entirely genuine, so the toll thing isn't going to work out quite as planified. That isn't a word. Still, at least it's not me who has to rebuild the bridge now. Okay, so I might be broke, but I'll bounce back. I don't care. Can I have my reward, please? Anyway, here's my trusty Thessaurus, as promised. You never know when you'll be caught in a lexicological quandary. <laughs> oh, piss off. Oh, you've disappeared. Wonderful. Renown points... Uh, oh, I've got Dash's goggles. Let's see what those do, because they might give me like a bonus to Thanks perception to or something. The way to is now open again. Unless I can't actually put them on, I can... Well, well, let's have a look. Let's see what we can do. Oh, no. We want clothing. Right. I'm assuming it'd be on headgear, so no, we haven't... It must be just like some trophy that we've got. Okay, so earn some more renown. The archaeologist. Enough, 
a few right. people this, I think we might have to reselect enough. this quest again. Uh, ooh. The archaeologist. Uh, so can, can you make a tribute to fame and renown? There we go. Right. All oh, right. Okay. Can I not? So oh, I have got it selected. Wonderful. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Uh, right this way. Come on, Leonard. Why risk your life oh, Christ! Get your purses ready. With a few Shut more up. deeds like that, the abbot will have no choice but to accept you as the escort. So basically, we're just doing this to bribe the favour of this old man. Couldn't I just bribe him with sexual favour? Wouldn't that be equally as good? I'm sure he hasn't had any in quite a while. What am I? Oh God! Okay, back out here. Bit of backtracking in this, which I'm I'm okay with, to be honest. Oh, RPGs have a, a bit of backtracking, but yeah, I went to um, London to watch some of the Olympics on the thing, and as I was there, um, unfortunately, I watched a bit of boxing in which the British athlete lost in the final, so we got a silver in that, which was pretty rubbish. I'm not one of these people who really is in sport. Like I, the only time I will watch sport of any kind is literally. Probably the final of the World Cup football, and oh, hello. Sorry, I just completely missed the fact that you were there. Uh, but yeah, the World Cup of football, and probably yeah, the Olympics every four years. I could watch a little bit of it, but then still, I'm not too into the Olympics like some of these people. Like, I'm not one of these crazy fanatics about it, right? Uh, what does this do? So, we can unlock flourishes. Which would be quite good. We can't afford that yet because we can't afford either of these other things. We might as well learn the flourishes. So while holding X, move that towards an enemy to build up an unlock unblockable flourish. Okay, so it's like a power attack. A, a power attack, basically. So if we... Ah, there we go. Yeah, this is very reminiscent of Fable 3. Although I suppose, really, when you think about it, Fable 3 is very reminiscent of Fable 2. As it came up. Oh, there's some dirty hops here. Die, you dirty hobs. I don't know where I will unlock... Where do I unlock the ability to roll? Actually, I might... Sorry, I know I'm darting in and out of menus today, but I think it's quite important, so... Abilities? Uh, skill, maybe? Oh, roll! But, oh, we can get that. So we can roll. Right, okay. So apparently rolling is... Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. I probably just unlock something completely... I, I don't know. We're going to have to get into a fight and see if I can actually roll or not. I'm slightly confused now. Um, I mean, It'd be good if we can roll. I just find it slightly confusing that the rolling ability is part of the like, gun class thing. Let's try this flourish. Come on! My controller's vibrating. Bring it. Oh my god. Jesus. <gasps> Do not hit Leonard. Kill him, Leonard. He hit you. Oh. Okay, that's how you do that then. I still really want to know how you do this. Like, it just seems. Oh, okay. Good boy, Leonard. Leonard spelt with two N's, which is wrong. Okay, so we're just going to carry on up here. Oh, that sort of implied that there's something going to. Oh, right, okay, hello. God. Okay, this is actually really good. I'm glad I spent that money on the Brutal Style things. It makes it a lot easier. I think I'm going to probably focus mainly on the melee side. I know it's pretty generic and everything, but I think it will be worth it in the end, just for the fact that I'll be able to kill people really bloody quickly like that. Oh, I missed you. Stand still for a second. 
Okay, let's just ignore these people on the ridge, because I'm not too bothered about killing them. We just want to go and speak to this archaeologist person, which I'm hoping won't be too far from here, because... Well, I know initially on these games, when you're first sort of travelling around, it does get quite tedious, sort of running all the time. Oh, hello. Okay, bring it. See, if I was this guy, I'd be running away by this point. So you know, I just one-shot everyone. I think. Well, maybe I didn't, but you know, I'm not too bothered. Again, I got some experience, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I have enough for a new ability, apparently. Bowstone? Oh, I was... Why didn't it tell me to go to Bowerstone anyway? Now I could have just fast travelled. Oh. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. But yeah, also, if you really are a fan, like one of the uh, people who really do like me playing Fable 2, then like, please do show me your support, because I, I kind of want to know how many people are still interested. Because obviously this series means a lot to me, because it's sort of in celebration of my Fable 3 and beginnings on YouTube and stuff. Can we open this? No, we can't. Um, but yeah, like, just post like what you think. Like, do you really want me to ca carry on? Or I, I mean, there are other things that I'm gonna play. But I don't know. Um, tattooist. No thanks. Maybe we haven't been here. I couldn't really say for sure. But also, what was I gonna say? How's everything going? Uh, oh yeah, that's it. Because this is like a, a special inverted commas episode where I'm doing a really long one, um, just tell me what you think. Like, do you prefer the longer episodes or do you prefer it when they're about 20 minutes, which I normally do? I mean, I really don't mind. It's like, whatever you want or think. I mean, personally, I d I've looked at the game. It's about between, depending on how quickly you do it, between about 13 and 15 hours long, the main quest line. So, you know... I can, it will drag it, like if I did 20 minutes at episodes, then it would probably be about 30, 35 episodes in length this series, which I think is a bit long, especially when there's other games that I can play, and I do like to keep a bit of variety on my channel, so, I don't know. Okay, so let's just carry on. Is this guy going to be, like, really far away, or are we just completely spazzing out here? Okay, let's carry on. Not question it. Everything will be fine. Fairfax Gardens. Oh, we are going... Oh, I, I kind of... I'm picking up slight hints of, like, the storyline from when I played it, when this game first came out. Like, God, it must have been a good five, six years ago when this came out. I mean, don't quote me on that, but... My God. It's quite depressing, really. <laughs> this I actually got this as my first game on Xbox 360. Obviously, now I'm much more into actually like playing on the PC, but hello. You are you willing to risk life? Yes I am. Don't say any more. I'm gonna collect your shit from the hole. Right, where is it? My studies lead me to believe this is a good starting point. Wonderful. Okay. Oh Oh right. Info. My research proves conclusively that the first artifact is hidden somewhere in the oldest part of the city. Well, isn't that wonderful? The oldest part of the city. Wait, no, this would be here, wouldn't it, surely? Maybe? The oldest part of the city. How is that a clue? The oldest part of the city. Now, because I've played this before, I can vaguely remember that maybe it's in that crypt over there. I think that's a crypt. Again, not completely convinced, but I think this might be what it's referring to. The door is locked. The oldest part of the city. That would maybe be the the castle then. Uh, the first artifact. 
Now, she said that it was a good starting point, that place over there. So surely, 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 unless it's like in that one. As I say, I have a strange feeling it's in a crypt, but I'm not sure which one. Okay, they're both locked, so it's obviously not. Am I supposed to be doing something with this note? Where's Doggy gone? Doggy? Um... In the oldest part of the city. Maybe this guy knows. Can I talk to you? No, I can't. Brilliant. Okay, let's talk to this woman again. I don't know whether she's got any more information. She might do. I have no... Have you located the object yet? No. The first artifact is hidden somewhere in the oldest part of the city. Read. Archaeological site. Maybe I need to read these signs. Like maybe there's a clue on one of if there are any other signs. Hmm. Now I'd assume if... Oh! Okay, maybe my dog's found it then. It's, the game was probably getting bored of me not knowing where to dig. <laughs> okay, let's dig out here. I'm hoping this is going to be it and not just some random gem. That would be very nice. Save a lot of effort. Alright, hurry up. Is that the artifact... Obviously it wasn't. Oh, it is part of the city. It's got to be the castle, right? It's fought over here. Is it in here somewhere? No, but there is a key. Unless it's down here. Is this like the oldest part of the city? Oh! Hmm. Hello. And just where do you think you're going? I don't know, you're... Oh, I know all about uh. you. Think demon doors are your little toys to open as you please. Well, not me. Right. I am the greatest, grandest, oldest. And oldest of um. all doors. And I open to no one. Right. So run along and find another sentient piece Can I not persuade you? Study Bell's note. Yeah, so this is the oldest part of the city. I think. I don't even know what's going on anymore. God, are you just going to repeat yourself or... Okay, so reacting with the door doesn't actually do anything. So it mustn't be in here, it can't be. But it kind of proves that the castle is bloody... like one of the oldest bits. So perhaps it is in the castle. Am I just being really stupid? Like, I don't... Okay, let's just go in here. Door is locked, of course it is. See what, I'm going to cut it until the point at which I know what the hell is going on. So I'll be right back. Right, now see, I'm now going to go on the fact that perhaps it isn't even in that place. They said the oldest part of the city. Now, sh there is Bowerstone Old Town, isn't there? Now, I don't know which way that is. Maybe it's like over here? I don't, uh, but, I mean, a place in Bowerstone with the title old in it surely would be the oldest place maybe unless I've just made that up completely yes yeah, so okay I didn't make it up Bowerstone Old Town now sure as I say surely a place with old in the name 
would be the oldest place in the city. Or at least you'd assume so, wouldn't you? So I'm going to have a look around here. Maybe there's like something really obvious, like a big like bit of broken pot sticking out of the ground somewhere. I don't know, but we'll soon see. I hope it is obvious anyway, because otherwise I have literally no idea where it is. And I'll probably end up... Oh, dig spot. Lead on, lead on. Carry on. Stupid dog. Okay, down here. Come on. Right, please. Please don't just be a buried beer bottle or something. What is it? Ancient scroll. Uh, oh, that was it. Oh, I figured it out. Wonderful. Right, okay. Now, actually, can we fast travel? I really don't want to walk there. I'm that lazy. I'd rather sit through. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. Ah, oh, I feel like we're progressing. Everyone can stop cringing now. I've actually done it. Oh my god. Right. <clears throat> Let's give this stupid bitch this scroll. Also, wouldn't a scroll underground be like completely torn and as soon as it rains, wouldn't it just disintegrate? It doesn't really make much sense, does it? It would have been, as I say, a bit of old broken pot with a symbol on it. That would have made more sense. Here, have the bloody bit of paper, you old bat. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Right. Can I go and speak to this bloody priest now, please? I need a... Uh, they want me to get more renown. Uh. Ready to imperil your person in the name of research again? Oh, you want me to do another one? Oh, down the okay, now. Right. Considering how long it took me to figure out the last one, and that was only a sentence long, this one's going to be a bit tricky, isn't it? Right. All the ancient texts point to an artifact hidden in the ruins of an old kingdom structure. One of them mentions a dark cathedral overlooking the ocean. Uh, a dark cathedral overlooking the ocean. Yeah. Can I... Actually, have I got enough? No. Okay, so I do need to do this. Oh, good. Wonderful. Overlooking the ocean. Hmm. Maybe let's just go and talk to that demon face person again. Because possibly being serious, I can't climb up a ledge that's one foot high. Okay. Possibly it might want us to do something now. Although it's doesn't really make sense it being a cathedral overlooking the ocean. It does seem a bit odd to me. Are you just going to moan again and be useful? Hello. Oh. Oh. Treasure. Treasure indeed. What the hell is this? Java. Uh, 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 oh, it's one of those things again. Right. I still haven't found the bloody thing, so I'll, no. I'm not going to lie. I had no idea where it was, so I looked it up on the internet. <laughs> right, so apparently it's in Rookridge. I don't know how on earth you got to that from the thing, but apparently there's a ruin of a castle cathedral thing here. We should be honest, looking at the map now, fair enough, but... How are you supposed to remember what each place looks like and the features of it? It's a bit a bit weird to me. So I, I used a guide, I'm not going to lie. I'm sure you won't mind. It saves me a lot of walking around for ten minutes, which what I was actually going to do. Okay, follow your dog. OK, 
Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. So hopefully we can now actually progress and actually speak to this abbot person. Uh, so I'm assuming we're going to this cathedral, which looks like possibly we are. Or maybe this is just it here, unless I'm getting in Leonard's way. Found it, Leonard? Yes, you have. Good, Leonard. Good. Roll in the dirt, Leonard. Go on. Or run into me. Ancient scroll. Wonderful. So let's now go back. Hopefully this should give us enough renown in order to actually... Let's go and speak to this person now. Okay. I think what we're going to do is basically hand this person the scroll, maybe go and talk to that abbot person, and then we're going to end this episode. And again, if you've enjoyed it, like, tell me and I'll do another 45, 40 minute episode. I don't know how long it's been now because I'm going to have to cut it around. Um, but, yeah. Just just tell me what you think. I'd pref I'd personally prefer to do long ones. I think it's so. time to update my wardrobe. Right, here's just bloody scroll. Just take her. Shove it in your mouth, you dirty... Ah, uh, yes. The very thing. Hello. You're not from around. Where are you? Right. Okay, okay, okay. We're not going to do any more archaeologist ones. So let's go... Return to the Abbot. Yes, quick travel. Okay. God. There's a lot of quick travelling. It's better than actually running there, though, so I can't really complain. So we're just going to run straight to the Abbot, and hopefully he's just going to perform whatever weird thing that he wanted to on us. And we can be on our way. And I don't even... I can't even remember why he's even doing this stupid ri ritual, to be honest. Oh god, I'm feeling I'm feeling a bit tired now. To be fair, I'm, uh, that mentally strained me a bit. I have been playing this for about an hour now, which is fine. Don't mind. Don't mind. You've done it. Almost everyone in Oakfield has heard. Oh, that's brilliant. I don't bloody care. Now you at least didn't spawn me right at the entrance of the thing. Oi. It's you. I prayed for your return. Bit I creepy. heard what you did in Rookridge. I think you could be of great use to us. Okay. Come, walk with me a while. Oh. So tempted to turn off safety on my weapon. Um. No. Nourishing <laughs> golden ink is done what? with holy water from the well spring of light. But the spring is located in a nearby cave, which is said to be quite dangerous. Of course it is. Our sacred text says two monks must enter this cave. The strongest and a second of the abbot's choosing. Obviously this concerns me, especially since the strongest monk here is my own child. Oh, that's quite a twist. So instead of a second monk, I have chosen to send a protector for the first. And that's you, if you're interested. The cave is just at the end of this road. Right. Off to the cave then. Meet the monk at the cave. Oh! Even if they oh, this is one of the heroes that we needed to speak to, I think. Or something. Right. Let's just follow this road. Uh, just looking at the time. That's fine, I can carry on a bit longer. Oh, God. Stupid fly. I can't be bothered to fight it, let's just carry on. Oh. twisted path leads. Oh wait, the monk is a woman? Alright, that's a bit creepy. Oi. Ah. I knew my lovely singing voice would bring the crowds. Oh I see, she's the hero of strength. So you're my escort. I'd guess. Then? My father said you'd be coming by. Bit tubby. Should we enter this cave? Hello? Oh, you're Let's go in the cave, you stupid you? bat. Oh, God. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, it's like it's that tip there. It reminds me actually with the magic, we could unlock the thing where we get to charge the spells and make it more powerful. But again, like, I'm not too bothered. Come on, Hannah, you fat bitch. God, this this series turns me into a bit of a knob, doesn't it? I'm not even listening to you anymore. Ooh. It's well pretty, isn't it, Hannah? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, God, you've got a bit of a weird voice, Hannah. No, I don't. What, what the hell is... <laughs> I've looked at the sparkly ceiling. Get on with it. No, I'm not. You just can't hear what I'm thinking. Which is exactly why you said I'm a quiet one. What? Okay. Let's look at a torch. Good job. Oh, we're looking at that, actually. Uh, okay, well, I think... To me, this seems like a good place to end it. Right. Uh, this should be the unless she's about to gab on about something. Wow. I've never seen anything like this, Which I think ever. she is. Now, according to my father, we need to go through these three doors in order to collect the water. Putting weight on the pressure plates will open the doors. Right. This one's the first. There we go. Right, okay. So she's done, apparently. Alright, so the plates require more and more weight. Okay, which I'm assuming is when you fill the big tank on your back with water and it gets heavy. Okay, wonderful. Good job, sister Hannah. High five, you silly bitch. Right, okay. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going to end this here. If you've enjoyed it, then please leave some comments and feedback and maybe a like or subscribe if you it's your first time watching me. Who knows? Thank you for watching. Awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.